The fishing industry in southern Bangladesh was badly affected when Cyclone Sidha hit in November 2007. Winds of up to 250 kilometers per hour lashed the coastline and beyond. It's one of the worst disasters the country has ever witnessed. Experts say climate change is making the weather pattern here worse. It's having a devastating effect on communities in one of the poorest nations in the world. In the southern Burguna district, at least 2,500 people suffered when the cyclone struck, according to the Bangladeshi Red Crescent Society. A few months on, and boats stand idle, many damaged or without owners because they died in the disaster. Around 1,500 trawlers were affected. Shiraz Munshi and his family are struggling to cope. He lost his boat and was hit by a tree when trying to get to safe land in the stormy weather. He has a hip fracture and remains injured. The family, like many others here, are now dependent on aid. We cannot afford three meals a day. What more can I do? Our income is very little. I cannot work. Shiraz can barely move his body because he's in so much pain. He spends most of his days in the tiny shack which houses his wife and three children. Thank God I'm still alive and I pray to God every day. I'm in pain but I'm surviving off this medicine. The eldest two sons have taken on their father's financial burden. They're sent out for daily labor to help repay the 20,000 Bangladeshi tak alone he took for his treatment. It will take a lifetime to pay back, he says. I can't send the boys to school. If I do, we will starve. Shiraz says fishing was his life. He would spend two weeks a month on the waters, like many others in this village, earning around $30 a month. There were heavy losses here for fishermen. My brother lost his trawler too. They were also living in terrible conditions. In the village, there are some signs of hope, as people try and keep their age-old industry alive. It's a slow start, but better than nothing, as many do the best they can to survive. For Shiraz, getting back on his feet is going to take time. But it's time he simply can't afford to lose. This report was prepared by Salma Zulfikar from Irin News for the United Nations.